We moved in here about two and a half years ago, built in partnership with Mayo Clinic. The fact that it's connected to our home arena, and then to have that home arena in the heart of a major metropolitan area became a real differentiator. To build that in partnership with Mayo Clinic, where they actually put a sports medical practice inside of our facility that services our team and our athletes, but also services the general public. The vision was we want to create a window for the community. This Be A Pack is really sort of the purpose of why we exist, focusing on your fans, focusing on who's a part of the organization. And it's not just the players on the court, it's everybody that works for the organization, everybody that is connected as a partner, a fan, etc. You know, as we've now completed the transformation of Target Center, yeah. you've got, you know, the window into the entire Target Center experience. The facility itself, previously it was a 12 screen movie theater and so the high ceilings and all the things that feel like it was almost perfect for a sports organization um, was really a byproduct of that. We decided to keep a theater, rebuilt it with state-of-the-art technology and so we'll use this for certainly internal staff meetings and events, hosted VIP draft parties, we'll do viewing parties for Lynx and Timberwolves season ticket holders. Been kicking around the idea of some movie premieres and then just recently we've started to get into the space where we'll give partners access to utilize the facility and host their own internal meetings and things here. It's been awesome. So the whole facility really surrounds the court. There's two courts, the Timberwolves and the Lynx basketball courts. Shared facility between the two teams. The Lynx have a wing with their locker room and facilities. The Timberwolves have a wing. We're gonna be one organization. We're gonna you know, create community. We've got a training facility with several areas that are shared. So this is a, you know, we call it our owner's suite. We used it pre-renovation, we'd use it. You'll see some imagery of mocks and things that we used for the renovation. So we'd bring guests through to tell that story. Um, we'll host some dinners and lunches in the space where it's a cool setting overlooking the courts. Area code 612, Minneapolis area code. So we try to create a great music vibe in this space. 700 seats in the center three sections behind the score table connect into this space. It's a great environment. They can have a private entry. Their tickets get scanned as they enter here. They come into a, you know, their own private bar restaurant and then it connects to the 100 level concourse. We spent very little time talking about a new building quickly became evident that our focus was going to be on a renovation. I would say if you were to draw a map of the state of Minnesota and pick the city block in the entire state that is the best block to put a sports venue, we already had it. At night, if you're on the outside of the building, you'll see this illuminates whatever jersey color we're wearing that night, it'll be that color. So it sets a tone of what's happening on game night. And it looks like a basketball going through a net from the outside. So we created 17 chairman suites, we call them. You know, the traditional suite experience, we felt was something that we could differentiate a little bit. Much more of a kitchen environment. If you go to a great house party, everybody's hanging around the kitchen table. You've got a live action station here with a chef-driven experience served up in small plates. And then, you know, food spread out throughout this space where guests can dine here. We made a decision strategic in the front end. We could have put two more suites in the middle. We actually ripped it open and made this a space that's available to all of the guests in the chairman's suite. So this bar, which is inclusive with beer, wine, soda, part of the experience, connects to the bowl. We love this product, you know, having gone around to so many different venues, we wanted to create sort of that dining room experience where you can have a great night out and a great dining experience, and then you happen to transition to a game. We turned 10 sideline suites into 20 theater boxes. 
Even once this is completed, we'll still have 10 suites on the north end of the building that we purposely have not done a thing with yet because we wanted to understand what is the demand look like from the theater boxes, the chairman suites for the building. And then from there, we can make decisions. Do we want additional chairman suites? Do we want to create a whole different concept? So that whole end zone in theory could be a different concept. So we've left ourselves some future flexibility. So this is the Lexus Courtside Club built in what was previously the arena's main box office. 476 seats have access to this space. This space is called 89 Reserve, and it's part of the Lexus Courtside Club, of course. The Minnesota Timberwolves and Lexus were both founded in 1989. Our team's founding partners all have their own private table. They've got their own private bar, their own private service. You've seen the club within a club concept at other places. We wanted to create that concept, but we wanted it to be such that they were still connected and part of the larger club. It works perfectly that way, where these guests, they can have access to the same chef's table buffet, or they can order off their own private menu. One of the things people told us was to be functional with your table so you can have a combination of two and four seats, as opposed to having too many four seats that end up getting gobbled up by groups of two. So we had a vision of what we wanted this experience to be, and it's exceeded that expectation.